While bitter fighting continues at the Korean front, British and American troops prepare for battle in the notorious Koji prison compounds as they move in to split the rebellious Reds into smaller groups. Gas masks are worn by troops, as from American lookouts high above the compounds, tear gas is fired into the camp. Prisoners refuse to leave their huts and tents, and this is the only way, smoke them out. There to direct operations himself is General Boatner, the American camp commander. Prisoners who are held back by their fanatical communist leaders are finally forced from their hiding as Americans move in to close quarters with flamethrowers, burning a path through the compound. Then tanks join the battle. Under the command of their officers, Red POWs use knives, spears, and prison-made Molotov cocktails to resist their guards. Many who refuse to fight are killed by fellow prisoners. But following a well-laid plan, British and American troops move right into the center of the compounds to seize the rebels and begin the great sort-out of ringleaders. Smaller compounds have been quickly built to hold the rebels, each to contain not more than 500. For many weeks, prisoners have been practicing arms drill and have been making extensive plans for mass breakouts. By overthrowing their guards, they hope to gain control of Koji Island for themselves. General Boatner's action in splitting the Reds into smaller groups should put an end to the violent rebellion to authority. The battle for Koji cost many lives and hundreds were injured. Now over the compounds there hangs an uneasy peace.